this is Joseph Citrano with Emerson. Many Emerson customers are considering deploying a smart wireless network, but aren't quite sure where they get started. They're also uncertain of how they're going to manage their network after they have their smart wireless network deployed and running in the field. They're concerned that they may have to do a costly site survey, bring someone out site with a long lead time project. However, the AMS wireless snap-on will help customers plan their network without costly site surveys and long drawn out processes. The first feature in the AMS wireless snap-on is the planning functionality. Planning, planning functionality allows a user to bring any JPEG or bitmap image into the AMS wireless snap-on. The image could come from Google Maps, could come from plot plans in their, in their facility, come from a, basically any image that represents the space they want to put their smart wireless network. The first feature is the planning feature in the AMS wireless snap-on. As you can see here, a network has been started to be planned and we have many devices laid out. These devices were brought in simply by dragging and dropping them from the pallet, as we're doing here, and populated this diagram. Now this is a diagram a customer would actually have, uh, is actually a self-organizing network a customer would like to have, but now they want to know if this network is going to meet best practices. In order to do that, you simply come up here to the check network icon, check it, and it'll tell you either that the network meets best practices or show you where there's uh, things that you need to change to bring the network up to best practices. Here we can see device LT1020, it has a red circle around it, and this red circle is only showing two other neighbors in its, in its predicted range. In order to bring this network up to best practices, a customer would want to have a third, third measurement point, or potentially a repeater, in this particular circle, and you can do that by simply dragging and dropping the device over here. When you, do, when, you see, when you do that, you see that the red circle went away, and now you have a network that meets best practices. Once a smart wireless customer has deployed their network into the field, the AMS wireless snap-on can come into the live mode and display the, the communication pathways between devices. As you can see here, this is a, a network that is in the T-side UK and is actually displaying the self-organizing pathways between devices. This is an important view for a customer to understand that they have a robust and well-functioning self-organizing network. In addition to being able to see the communication pathways, the AMS wireless snap-on can also issue plant web alerts. As you can see here, we turn those alerts on, and we can see green icons that came with the devices that are good around the corner, but then there are a couple of other devices that have a yellow background. This is a yellow background stands for maintenance advisory in plant web alerts. You can see we have two devices, WPT1, which is displaying a pinpoint with a low battery or low power module. And essentially, this is a pinch point for WTT6. So essentially, if WPT1 was taken out of service, WTT6 would potentially fall off the network. By issuing this alert, the AMS wireless snap-on has allowed the customer to understand that they may have a potential weak point in the network and be able to fix it by adding another device or some other means. So I hope you've learned how the AMS wireless snap-on could help Emerson's customers design and maintain their smart wireless network. If you'd like to learn more about the AMS wireless snap-on, please go to assetweb.com and see additional videos and presentations.